and they leave. That, God forbid, that could have happened. Yeah. So you're saying um, this, per your personal, it's personal life here yeah. has found, uh, like you said, the jackpot that you. That that's right. Yeah, it's not I, the pizza. I can guarantee it's not the pizza. Not pizza. I had a customer tell me this week. He said um, <coughs> he's been thinking about Aliyah since they were married because that's how he chose his wife. That somebody, a woman, who'd be willing to make Aliyah. And he said that he felt like, and he has little kids, so he says he felt like he was in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> and now the timeout is over, and he can come back into the world, this being the world. So That's good. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's definitely, I, for many people, it's challenging. You know, it's, it's a culture shift. Um, it's for some people, it's an economic shift. So... It, it can be challenging, but some people are looking for challenges. You know, they feel... And Neil, what, what, what do you get for all these challenges? What do you think is the rewards or the benefits of uh, being a Jew living in Israel? Well, well that's, yeah, I, I, that's a good question. I mean, I've asked people, and I'd like to pursue that, that line of questioning with different rabbis.